yesterday, a lot of investors, specifically Palantir investors, went into the spin cycle. The confusion was absolutely insane. The drop of the stock by 7.5% in a single day confuses a lot of investors. They don't know what they should do. Existing investors are basically wondering, well, should I sell out? I mean, I'm up a lot because the stock is up so big this year and maybe this is the beginning of a correction, so maybe I should sell it all and wait to re-enter later? And new investors are now saying, well, look, maybe I should get in now. 7.5% drop, this is the time to buy the dip, right? What do I do? All of this confusion is unnecessary. This is not the way to invest long term, definitely not in stocks like Palantir. Yesterday was more macro than anything. Yesterday, John Powell actually played his cards again. Now, if you remember a few days ago, John Powell went on TV and said, hey, we're gonna raise rates in 2023. Nobody believed him. All the investment community was basically calling his bluff right after the speech. Yesterday, for some reason, when he repeated the exact same words verbatim, all of a sudden, the market decides to believe him. Now look, this is the perfect example of the irrationality of the stock market. And you know what they say, the stock market can stay irrational much longer than you can stay solvent. And this is the perfect example. One day investors don't believe Powell, two days later they suddenly believe Powell. Go figure. Now, if you're trying to invest based on that in the short term, you're gonna get bamboozled. And I don't want this to happen to you. So this is what you do. Now look, yesterday was a macro day. If you ask my opinion, I think Powell will have a tough time increasing rates in 2023 because of the banking system, because of political reasons, because of economical reasons. That doesn't mean it's gonna be good times singing around the campfires, you know, singing Kumbaya the whole day. It doesn't mean that. We're not out of the woods yet. There's still a lot of issues. And mainly, I don't see how rate decreases, even if they happen in 2023, are gonna help the market because the market went through a massive bubble. Look. This is pretty much the S&P 500 over the past six months. This is it. Now, this is not how the stock market works. When you see this, it usually is followed by a correction. There has to be a correction. No matter how much you think Powell is gonna bail out the economy, a correction for the S&P 500 and the overall market is coming. It's undoubtable, it's inevitable. It's not a question of if, it's just a question of when. But that when is super, super hard. It's not as easy as you think because guessing when is actually a lot harder than you may think. And it's especially true for stocks like Palantir and Tesla. Now look, why am I telling you this? Because it's absolutely irrelevant. For me and my community members, which you can join by the way, patreon.com forward slash Tom Nash, $5 per month, fully refundable. You can join and check us out. For my community, we stay focused, we teach a system and we follow it to the T. Our system eliminates emotions, anxiety, fear of missing out, panic, all of the stuff. Let me show you. Now, let me just explain something quick to you. You know what an average is, right? Six plus four equals 10. What's the average? Divide two, you get five. So the average is five. Six and four, the average is five. Easy, right? Cool. That's simple, everybody knows that. This is the behavior of a stock like Palantir, which is just one example, right? The stock can start here, can go down, go up, go down, go up, go down, go up. And in all of this crazy behavior that you're gonna see on the screen right now, most investors are gonna make the following mistake, which is super exciting for me because I'm gonna make money off it and my community as well. And if you guys join, you might as well as well, as well as well. <laughs> Now most investors are gonna screw this up because most investors are gonna to try to buy it here, to buy it here, to buy it here, and to sell it here. Now for those few who managed to do just that, congratulations, you are the world's greatest investor. The problem is that data shows that 95% of investors fail to do so. Despite the fact that the S&P 500 only went up over the course of the past 20 years, 95% of investors lost money, retail investors that is. Well, that's because they tried to time the market like this. And if you're trying to time Palantir and find out where's the best entry point, exit point, this is the game you're playing. And sorry, that's a bad game to play. I don't like it. Here's a better game for you. Now let's eliminate these points right here and let's ignore them completely. And let's just say, look, let's just assume right here for the sake of our discussion right here, we can't figure out where the top and where the bottom is. We don't know. So how do you still cheat and actually get paid? Well, this is how. You basically decide, look, I'm gonna create an imaginary line. This is my imaginary line. Let's make it in a different color. So it's easier to see, okay? An imaginary line right here. And this imaginary line is gonna be our 52 week high. So this is our 52 week high. 
we know that number and it changes all the time, but you know, the line will move up and down, obviously. Now, you know that the 52 week high is gonna change, but you always know where it's gonna be. And then you basically can create a situation where you actually are increasing your investment by investing money every single month, but decreasing the cost basis in the stock. And this is how you do it. It's very, very simple. This is what we teach on our Patreon, by the way. You basically say, look, I'm gonna buy every month 100 shares of Palantir, just for the sake of example, 100 shares each month, right? Whatever the cost is, it is what it is, right? Cool. And then you say, okay, so buying 100 shares here, 100 shares here, 100 shares here, and 100 shares here. But whenever the stock price dips below the 52 week high, below the green line right here, whenever it's gonna dip below that, I'm gonna buy 200 shares. So I'm buying 200 here, 200 here, 200 here. You see what I did here? So, and 200 here, obviously. So whenever the stock price dips below the 52 week high, the all time high, whatever, you decide the threshold line, whatever you decide, it's for you to decide. I'm just using 52 week high as an example. It's actually very convenient, but you decide the line. Whenever that threshold amount gets crossed upwards, you go back 200. Whenever it goes below it, you go to 200 and you keep doing that. In fact, I'll show you by the end of the video an example of somebody who did just that and did very well in our community, an actual example of how this works. What you're doing if you're using the system is you're creating a weighted average. So the Palantir cost basis, which you have, gets weighted average into the bottom because if you're buying more, let's say buying X and 2X, you're buying X when it's high, you're buying 2X when it's low. What happens to your average? Your average goes down. So after a couple of years, what you get is more investment into Palantir, complete disregard to the price, no FOMO, no anxiety, no emotions, no mental resources, and your cost basis just went down because you bought twice as much when the stock was below your threshold amount. Simple as that. And that's the whole theory right here. Well, that's just the first step. We actually teach the whole theory on our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Tom Nash. Join us. It's the price of a cup of coffee. It's $5 per month and you can cancel for the first month, get a full refund. <laughs> I, I have no issues with that. I, you know, just try it out. You owe it to yourself, trust me. Now, I did promise you an example of how this thing works because this is, you know, might be just me blowing smoke up your ass. One of our community members, Captain Chuck. Captain Chuck, I'm gonna put his stuff on the screen right now. Captain Chuck started buying Palantir at $22. Now what he did, as you can see on the screen right now, he was buying at $22, but as the stock price kept coming down because he had conviction in the stock, because he knew it was a good company, because he knew this company is now selling at a discount, he started buying more, more, more as the price was going down. And now he ended up with $8.7 cost base. So he started two years ago, two years ago with $22 per share, Two years later, he's at $8.7 per share and he did it slowly by buying more when the stock price was coming down. And now he's up massively on the stock. As you can see here on the screen right now, it's not a coincidence. It's literally what Captain Chuck said on our Patreon when we asked him, hey, Captain Chuck, congratulations. Tell us how you did it. And basically he said, look, you eat an elephant piece by piece. That's exactly how you invest long-term investing into good companies in which you have conviction in, you have confidence in, slowly over time, piecemeal by piecemeal, slowly building your position in a weighted average situation so that you get lower cost basis at the end of the day. That's the only thing you have to do. The second thing is join our community, patreon.com forward slash Tom Nash. You'll be joining the best investing in personal finance community on the planet. I guarantee you that. And if you don't agree with me, by the end of the first 30 days, I'll refund you. How about that? Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.